I'm not here. Hi, Kelly. Where is everyone? Well, we were low on cash, so I decided to close for the afternoon. What was it? The bank? Yeah, yeah, their fault this time. Anyway, here are the uh, papers that Brick wanted you to sign. Yeah, where is he? He said he was going to meet me here. Uh, he's in town. Some other business came up. So it's just you and me. Just wonderful to watch you sweat. Hey, relax. Who do you? You know how long it takes women to get ready? Let alone to their own wedding. Well, maybe she got lost. I just hope she has enough English to get directions. Madeline, cut it out. Oh, lighten up, Courtney. Can't you take a joke? And any of you? <laughs> Mason, I apologize for Madeline. I hope you don't think that all the Eastern Capwells are like her. You mean small-minded, backstabbing, and treacherous? No, actually, I thought the Western branch of the family had cornered the market on those traits. Well, it's a shame we all have to dress up. Evidently, Santana has come to her senses. Santana! Wait! Leave me alone! I'm gonna be late! No. Oh. You're really getting crazy, aren't you? Well, maybe I am. I'm sorry. I just... Listen, if you marry Mason, you'll hate it, and he'll hate it, and Brandon will end up miserable. Brandon is going to be mine. Now, will you let me go? Oh, I will. I, I, I've got to do this. All right, just, just tell me one thing. I'll let you go. What? You said you love me. You still feel that way? Cruz, please. Just, what difference does just it make? Just answer me. Do you love me or not? I have answered you. So what I feel for you really doesn't matter because you don't love me. Cruz, no, please. Leave me alone. Sir? Kirk? Yes, this is Mrs. Cranston. Is uh, my husband there? Did he leave a message for me? Okay, thank you. I can't believe it. We came all the way from Hong Kong for this. Hush, Madeline. Oh, nobody here even wants the bride to show up. That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Ooh. Madeline, look, look, look at the bridesmaids. The bridesmaids, they should be out walking the streets where they belong. You know, if Santana doesn't show up, Mason's going to be crushed. Oh, for a moment, maybe. Cece would be relieved. Hmm? He'd be jubilant, even. Isn't that right, Uncle Dearest? Do hmm? you speak to me, Madeline? Yes, as a matter of fact, Cece, I was just asking if all your wives were late for their weddings. Tell me something, Madeline. Hmm. This uh, wedding couldn't be the only reason you dropped by. Why don't we just cut through the niceties and tell me the real reason for the visit? Whatever could you mean? Well, knowing your father the way I do, my illustrious brother, there has to be an ulterior motive. Oh, Cece, I am truly wounded. Oh, well then, my darling, you can bleed as long as you like. But I'll find out. You can be sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure I don't have the foggiest idea what he was talking about. Well, I think it has more to do with the rivalry between our fathers rather than what you just did. Those two men have not been within 1,000 miles of each other's for years. Well, as I understand it, there is a good reason for that. <laughs> Reverend, Beth, can I uh, talk to you for a minute? Well, there doesn't seem to be much else to uh, do around here, at least not until the bride shows up. 
if she shows up. Oh, you'd like nothing better, wouldn't you? See your firstborn eating a little crow in front of all these distinguished guests? Mason, I have known you all your life, remember? I've listened to you talk to your family, your friends, anyone who might be in an embarrassing position. I mean, you're like a, uh, a hawk in pursuit of its prey. You climb down out of the skies with your cynical barbs and your hateful comments, and you load it over everybody like some kind of Greek chorus. Well, today, I'm relishing in the fact and watching you sweat and watching you squirm. And if I happen at some time to throw you a cynical barb or two, can you forgive me and can you blame me? Kind of like getting even, huh? Oh, no, no, Mason. I've gotten even with you a long time ago. I'm just going to enjoy giving you a taste of your own medicine, that's all. Well, I've always wondered where I got my twisted personality, Dad. I always thought I picked it up back east at those uh, expensive prep schools that you're always packing me off to. <laughs> but I think it goes further back to my genes. Something in that uniquely cold blood I inherited from you. <laughs> Forgive me, Mason. Before you give me all the credit for your lack of integrity. You better give your mother some sort of a contribution. I think it was around 50%. Too bad she didn't get that much in the divorce. Yes, you're right. Because if I had to do it all over again, I'd make sure she got you in the deal as well. Yes, would that she had. Then my better half might have had a chance to flourish. Which half is that, Mason? I'm unfamiliar with it. The human side, Dad. The side that made me agree to marry Santana so that she could have her son. You know, I haven't told you, but that was a neat trick that you almost pulled off. It's too bad I stepped in and spoiled it for you. So you still think the wedding is going to go on, huh? She'll be here. Not if she has the sense I've given her credit for. Well, that's the problem. Santana doesn't have any sense where Brandon is concerned. You know, if you'd come to me with this human blackmail proposition, I would have told you where to put it. You wield a lot of power, Dad, but when you start messing around with people's lives and their happiness it can come back to haunt you if you're not careful it'll destroy you you can have enough of this conversation the door's right over that way dad go on you won't hurt my feelings oh ho, ho, ho. no mason no 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 you're not getting over that easy see i have no intention of going anywhere i'm gonna watch you sweat i have waited a long time for this opportunity you'll excuse me dad i have other guests to entertain Mason. Nick, how are you doing? Well, uh, what's the matter? Is there, uh, you got no date for the prom? Well, Mason, I could say the same thing about you. Uh, oh, yeah, but Kelly's the matron of honor. That's much more important than the bride. Uh, Kelly had to uh, run an errand. She should be returning soon. She promised. Yes, well, it seems to be a day for promises, doesn't it? So? Champagne? Mm-hmm. No, none for me, thanks. Oh, don't look so shocked. It's uh, a new resolution of mine. Call it a wedding a resolution. Congratulations. Thank you. Speaking of weddings, what's happening with you and Kelly? Are you trying, trying to go for the Guinness Book of Long Engagements? No telling, huh? Well, I'll just give you a general good luck, and you can apply it whenever you need it. Let's just get this done, because I have to get back to the wedding. Oh, that's right. It's Mason's big day, isn't it? When does all of that start? Any second. Well, you'll never make it back. May I give you a lift in the helicopter? We can land right on top of the hotel. No, that won't be necessary. No. Look, if you take the ferry back, you'll never make it in time. Is that what you want to miss the ceremonies? No. Thank you. Look, I can have It's no trouble. I can have you there in 10 minutes. I prefer to take the boat, Dylan. I th your family is part owner in this casino, so you've got to be a sporting lady. I'll make you a bet. What? Spin the roulette wheel. And if you lose, I get to take you back in the helicopter. And if I win? I'll back off. I'll give up on you. You mean it? Absolutely. Business only. What do you think, Ben? You're on. <laughs> I want red. Come on. Red it is. I want to win this. Well, I'd like for you to win, too, actually. It'd probably be better for all of us. Keep your promise, yeah? Oh, yes. have the helicopter warmed up in just a second.
Yes, hello. Eden Cranston's room, please. Thank you. She's checked out. What? Well, when? Did she say where she was going? Home. Well, how early this morning did she check out? No. No, that's fine. Thank you. She could be back already. Kirk. Gina, what are you doing here? Told me to come, don't you remember? Yeah, sure. We're supposed to work on that note you're going to leave for Eaton tomorrow. Gina, I remember. Look, I wonder if we couldn't meet later. Something's come up. Wait, I have to tell you something. I don't have any time for this, Gina. I can't go through with it. What? I've changed my mind. I can't murder Eaton. Santana, please. No! no. Hey. Oh! Oh, my ankle! Oh. oh, it hurts. Oh, this is just what I need. I think you, uh, oh. I don't think it's broken, but you gave it a bad twist, don't you? I'll be okay. I, I've sorry. just got to go. No, no, wait I'll... a second. I just, you know, just give yourself a chance to catch your breath. I guess they can't start without me, right? Not the way I understand it. Let me see your ring. Boy, that's beautiful. Mary Mason does have its rewards. It will probably get you a nice house, too, and uh, get Brandon the best education money can buy. I'm lucky because I'm going to have Brandon. I love him. Is that really all you want? It's a lot more than most people get. Uh-huh. Except I can't get past one thing. What? I keep thinking about how good it's been. And we've made love. And I do mean love. It hasn't just been taking physical pleasure. It's been a lot more than that. We're real good at giving ourselves to each other. I, I think that's important. It's, it's a gift not everybody has. It's something you can build a bond from, a strong bond. Cruz, I'm doing this for you just as much as I am for myself. I understand that, but I think I can decide what's best for me, and I have. It's you. I'll always feel as if I trapped you, and you're going to feel the same way. Even when I look in your eyes, I'm going to see it, and I just won't be able to stand it. At least with Mason, I know that there are no illusions. Yeah, but there is no emotional connection whatsoever. That, that's business. This is marriage. We have a friendship. You can build something on that. Why are you making this so difficult for me? I don't understand it. What is it you want from I me? I want you. Oh. Oh. There's no room for negotiation, Gina. You're going to carry out these plans the way it was discussed. There must be some other way to keep Eden from going to the police. No, there isn't, and we can't wait. I spoke with Eden this morning. She's told me the first thing she's doing is going to cruise with that information. She said that? Of course, we only had your word for that now, don't we? Well, you're just going to have to accept my word, Gina. Otherwise, that motel that you've been living in is going to start looking like Buckingham Palace. Compared to that prison cell you'll be spending the rest of your life in. Now, is that what you want? Oh, yes, and maybe Brandon will drop you a line, send you a school picture from time to time. Huh, Gina? Why don't you just be quiet? You don't care about me or Brandon, do you? No, that's not. That's right. And that's not going to change our plans. All right, maybe Eden is going to see Cruz. But it's not about me. Eden's going back to Cruz because she loves him. It isn't about me at all. You just don't have the guts to do your own dirty work. Do our you? dirty work, Gina. Ours. In one way or the other, Eden is going to die. You're going to pull that trigger or you are going to die with her. Now, what's it going to be, Gina? Never mind. I have tremendous confidence in your, your instinct for survival, Gina. When the time comes, you're going to do exactly what it is I want you to do. Now, let's get that note written, shall we? The note that's going to lead my darling wife to her oh-so-untimely demise. I never get tired of looking at it up there. I have seen the view before, Dylan. Oh, you have? Well, not like this you have in here. Hold on. Dylan! <laughs> oh, I love mine. Would you try to I love it. There's nothing like it, nothing. Of course not. Of course not, but I want you to admit something. Admit what? Admit that it looks beautiful. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right! All right, it's beautiful. Will you take me to the hotel? Yes, I will in just a minute. 
What are you doing? But we're not... Where are you going? It's just a slight detour. No, I knew you wouldn't play fair. I uh, knew... Come on, look. I said that I would have you back there in plenty of time to spare, and I've made a promise I intend on keeping it. But there's this little cove I'd like to show you. It's going to take your breath away. And Dylan, you can't I get don't want to see it. Nick is going to knock your eyes out, oh, Kelly. You. Kelly, look, you lost the spin. Just sit back and relax. Enjoy the ride. Sophia, this is a private party. I'm sorry, but you did not... I invited her. I know you won't mind. I mean, she did serve time as my mother for a good many years. It seemed only fitting that she'd be invited to this little gown, right? Some champagne, Sophia? Thank you. <laughs> Maddie. Maddie, doesn't that gorgeous woman over there look familiar? Oh, yes, she does. It's my mother. Oh, oh, is oh, that... of course, it's Sophia, isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, well, Cece's long-lost wife returned from the grave. Oh, we heard all about her back east. Well, things are finally starting to get interesting around here. Well, I, for one, like happy <laughs> endings. Ted, I'm so glad your parents are back together. Well, I'm Sophia? Courtney. Yes, um, I'm Courtney Capwell from the eastern side of the family. Well, hello, Courtney. Yeah, I can't tell you how glad I am to finally meet the real Mrs. Cece Capwell. You know, I've seen so many uh, pictures of you two, but I must say you make an even more attractive couple in person. Uh, uh, Courtney. Yeah? My parents are divorced. Divorced? Yes. Oh, dear. It's all right, Courtney. It was a very warm welcome. Wasn't it nice, Cece? I I'm sorry, Uncle Cece. It's all right, Courtney. There's no way you could have known. <clears throat> Are you? Thank you, Mason. I'm, uh, sorry about Dad being here. I know how hard it is for you. I really didn't expect him to show up. Right, Mason, I don't think I should be here. And the fact that he is, he has more right to be here than I do. Oh, please stay. Why? Is this another little trick you're going to pull on your father? No, not at all. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, Sophia, but I'd really like for you to be here today. I mean that. All right, I'll stay, but just for the ceremony. By the way, where's the bride? Mm -hmm. That seems to be the question of the day. Um, excuse me, I think we're losing somebody. Come on, Reverend. <clears throat> She'll be here. Counting on you to keep the faith. Cruz, be careful. I knew you were healthy, but this is ridiculous. You know, you're nuts. You know that? I think we have to sit down and rest for a second. Yeah, I, I, I think I've you got okay? it. Yeah. Just be careful. Okay. How many flights did you climb? I don't know, but the altitude's about to give me a nosebleed. Oh, no, no, not on my dress, please. You know, you've always been able to make me laugh more than anybody else. I'm gonna miss that about you. I'm gonna miss our walks on the beach. And our trips back in time with the songs and music. We really have shared a lot. I'm glad you finally see that. I've always seen it. You're the one who didn't. Well, I do now. Well, it's late. It's too late. What do I have to do to prove myself to you? How many guys do you know that would carry a woman up that many flights of stairs just so she could limp down the aisle and marry somebody else? That's devotion. It's insanity. and so be it. You know that's not how it is. But it is your decision, isn't it? So I'm going to respect it. I'm leaving town tonight. Tonight? I've got an 8.30 flight to Miami. Oh. Yeah, there's really not much going on here for me, is there? I don't want to stick around and watch you try to work this out with me, so... 
Miami is so far. I want to start fresh. I think you need some distance to do that. Cruz, I'm going to miss you. Just having you here in Santa Barbara. Selfish of me, isn't it? You can't have it both ways, Santana. Brandon is going to miss you so much. He thinks so much of you. You are so special to him. I'm going to keep in touch with Brandon. Don't worry about that. Tell him I'm working on Miami Vice. I feel so responsible. No. I'm sorry. It's not you. It's everything, you know. I just think the sooner I'm out of here, the better. But I'll tell you something. If you're ever in trouble, if you need me for any reason, you call. And I'll be here for you no matter where I have to come from. Count on it. It's been lovely talking to you. Excuse me, yes, please. Sophia. Why don't we start acting like adults, Cece? You do not belong here. According to you. Well, that's right. Mason wants you here. That's right. I forgot. You two are real close, aren't you? Well, it really shouldn't surprise me at all. You are two of a kind. I think Ted wants me here and Kelly wants me here. Listen, I absolutely refuse to fight with you anymore. And furthermore, we are going to spend a lot of time at these social functions together. And I think we'd better call a truce for our family's sake, at least when we're around them. Your children know exactly how I feel That's for your concerns. That's because you keep reminding them, and you hurt everybody. If you really cared about your children, you would have thought about that before you had the latest affair with Lionel. They wouldn't be hurt. Grudges you walk around with, Cece. You've got a grudge against me and Mason and your brother and all the Lockridges. That's a lot of burden to carry around every day. You must be very tired. There were some people who will never get my forgiveness, I promise you. You listen to me, Cece. Years ago, I married a warm and a compassionate man. And I know that part of you is still alive. And you're going to know it someday, too, because... I'm not going to stop until I find it. Excuse me. Hello, stranger. Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> oh, Santana, am I glad to see you. Come on, the champagne. Mason, wait. What's the matter? You look beautiful. Come on. Mason, please. There's something I have to tell you. Santana, you don't have to apologize for being late. Come on, let's do I, it. I can't. What? I've changed my mind. I can't go through with this. Santana, everybody's here. They're waiting inside. I'm sorry. Oh, you're just having last-minute jitters. So am I. But think about Brandon. Mason, stop. I'm not going to lose Brandon. I'm going to marry Cruz. He's asked me, and I'm going to accept. Cruz? Yes. You mean that? Yes. My God. Don't you see? We would have never been happy in this arrangement. You know that as well as I do. But I quit drinking. I swore off completely. I was getting kind of used to this. I think I can make it work. I mean, I can try. Oh, dear Mason, I know that this has been so hard for you, and I'll never forget what you tried to do for me. But you see, Cruz is my one chance at happiness. I just can't let it go by. 
It would be so perfect. Please, understand. Well, yeah, I do. Lord knows I've let enough chances at happiness get away from me. You're beautiful. If uh, this is what you want, Santana, I'll bow out gracefully. Wish you and Cruz all the luck in the world. Thank you, Mason. See, you know, I was kind of looking forward to Dad's snarling face when we said our I do's. Not everybody can get it, Dad, that way. <laughs> I hope you find happiness, Mason. You deserve it. You know, you're probably the only person on the planet that feels that way, and you're marrying somebody else. Well, let's not be maudlin. I better go tell the guests. Mason, this is just the beginning for both of us. You'll see. You be happy, fair lady. Gutsy and strong and a fighter. I hope to God it works out for you. You too. And so we came back on the helicopter. I see. Well, I'm grateful to you for bringing Kelly back. But I think it's time that you left. I mean, being that you weren't invited. Excuse me, Ted. I wouldn't dream of intruding. But before I go, I'd just like to comment on how much I like your suit. It's nice. <clears throat> Thank you. Is it new? No. Oh, good. I'd hate to think that you were spending that money that I gave you on new clothes or gifts for Kelly. I have a feeling, Nick, that this uh, book you're going to buy is going to soak up every dime you've got. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, nothing really. It's just that a man should invest his money wisely or soon, very soon, he could find himself flat broke again. Don't lose any sleep over it, okay? This book is going to pay off big. And more than just financial gains, it's a very wise investment. Well, I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about things like uh, pride, self-achievement, self-respect, qualities that you don't think I understand. But, but I do, Nick. I mean, after all the work I did out at the casino. I'm glad. Now, why don't you just get into your little helicopter and leave? I want you to remember something, big brother. When you lose your shirt on this book, don't you come to me again. Because the next time I won't be so generous. Generous? All you did was pay off an overdue debt. You think you get points for that? Well, next time, maybe Kelly will bail you out. Remember that. I'll remember everything, Dylan. Enjoy. Thank you. For what? I don't know what he said, but I know you wanted to hit him. <laughs> I wanted to. But I think it was a good idea to resist. Me too. And I'm proud of you. And thank you for trusting me too. Would you hurry up? Someone could come in and find us any minute. Gina, relax. They're all at Mason's wedding. Who knows? Those capos love to sneak around and surprise people when they least expect it. There. Here. What do you think? I need to see you about the case. Bring what you have to the boathouse, 2 p.m. tomorrow. Talk to no one until then. Cruz. Well? Don't you think it should say love, Cruz? I mean, after all, they are lovers. I wasn't looking for a literary critique, Gina. The handwriting doesn't look anything like Cruz's. I think you better keep your day job at Capital Enterprises. You will never make it as a forger, Kirk. Oh, forget it. I'll just print it. Look, don't worry. It'll be fine. This has to work, Gina. This has to be perfect. What happens? It, how are you going to make sure Eden can see the note? How do you know she'll get the message? I'll make sure it's the first thing that she sees when she gets back tomorrow. What if she gets home earlier? Oh, or what if she sees Cruz before she gets the message? You just worry about your end, all right? I'll handle Eden. All right, fine. Are we finished now? Can we get out of here? The door is right there. Feel free. Aren't you coming? I know how much you love my company, Gina. But don't worry. I'll keep my eyes on you. see you. The boathouse 
F2 Love Cruise. bit of news that I think will make almost all of you happy, even while it confirms your worst suspicions of me. I'm afraid that there isn't going to be a wedding after all. Oh, what? No, it's, uh, it's been called off. True to form, I have had a change of heart. I've told Santana the truth that I'm not in love with her. It was a heartbreak of monumental proportions, as you can well, imagine, but if there's anything I've learned in the past few weeks, it's that love is the only reason for marriage. Anything else, convenience or opportunity or obligation, will never make a marriage work. Because in the end, all there is is the two of you and the feeling you have for each other, the love you share. And a marriage won't run without love any more than a car will without fuel and i just think i'd rather spend my life alone than in a marriage without love it's a rare thing however and if you find it you've got to give yourself over to it completely you hold back for even a moment it can slip right through your fingers so if you're lucky enough to find that person that makes you happy, you hold tight. You're very fortunate indeed. But never fear for me, my friends, because I have not given up the search for a perfect mate, and rest assured that if I find her, I'll have you all back here for a real wedding. In the meantime, um, the champagne and the food is paid for, so uh, here's to you. And to me, and to the girl who got away.
say no to Santana and getting your hopes up. Uh, just when she was about to have Brandon? I mean, I hope you feel low about doing that. Yeah, I do. It's, uh, it's no fun being left at the altar. What? You said you broke it off. I just said that to save face in front of Daddy. Santana's the one who did the kissing off. Wait, is that the way it was, really? Yep. But keep it under your hat. Oh, and Mason, I'm sorry. I am, really. Yeah, me too. Oh, don't be. It was the right decision for both of us. If I'd had the guts, I would have done it myself. Well, did she say why? Yeah. She's gonna marry Cruz. You're kidding. No. Won't even be surprised. Uh, that's not funny, Mason. No. Daddy, it's not. It's, uh... It's kind of sad, really. There's a funny thing about the Capwells and marriages. We don't seem to be very good at it. I'm, uh, I'm counting on you two to break tradition. Don't make the same mistake that Santana and I almost made, that Eden made. Promise me you'll marry somebody you really love? I promise. Yeah, that's what we all plan. You just have to wait for the right person to come along. Yeah. Sometimes they come along and just keep right on going. Better get away from me. I might be catching. No, oh, no. Mason, come here. If you can't count on your family to talk to, who can you count yeah. on? Oh, who indeed? Listen, I know it's been hard on you with Dad and Mary and now this. And I just want you to know that no matter how much you drive me crazy, <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> how nauseating. <laughs> we both love you. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nick, when will you and Kelly tie the knot? Oh, whenever it is. Mean it, all right? I never want to have another day like today. Well, we haven't set the date yet, Ashley. Mm -hmm. You know, Madeline, I seem to recall that Daddy nearly put a gun to your husband's head before you two walked down the <laughs> Courtney, aisle. Courtney, Courtney. Sometimes you know so little of that which she speaks. It's pathetic, you know, just like this horrid affair. Madeline? Well, Madeline, I never said Californians know how to throw a party. Madeline, it's to... not that bad. Courtney, this party should be shot and put out of its misery. Don't mind her. She's just a dreadful snob. And why not? Something like this would never happen back east. Back east, we would do something to get the blood flowing again. You know, Madeline, you're right. Courtney, that's exactly what we should do. Courtney, there is no blood left in this room. Don't be such a pessimist. I think I've got just the thing. Everybody, excuse me, can I have your attention, please? I have an idea of something that could be really fun. Are you ready? Why don't we all have a scavenger hunt? Isn't that great? Well, what do you think? They can't wait, Courtney. Mrs. Cruz Castillo. <laughs>